into a massive snowstorm to kind of get a little bit dry. So we're trying to find a place to park. Dave is currently out there clearing snow. How you doing? Last week we finished up our time in Utah, having an awesome time hanging around Salt Lake City and a brilliant Christmas up in Snow Basin. We then decided to head down and spend New Year's Eve in Las Vegas. It was a pretty incredible place to bring in the new year and obviously we had to have brunch at the Bachanel. After getting our city fix in Las Vegas, we headed out down into California through Death Valley. A stark difference from Las Vegas there was pretty much no one there while we cruised around. With the gorgeous salt lakes and vast canyons and deserts, it apparently seems to be what this winter's all about. Um, in the desert, we parked off for a couple of days to do some work. Basically, I've been talking about something for the past probably like eight months <coughs> that I wanted to do that I wasn't sure if I wanted to do. And today I'm just gonna do it because fuck it. Um, Let's shave my head. Yeah. <laughs> From here, we're going to be heading into the Eastern Sierras to check out Mammoth Mountain, Dune Mountain, Lake Tahoe, including Alpine Manates and Palisades. Alrighty guys, so we've just pulled into Mammoth. Um, basically, we kind of beelined it here because there's been to be a massive snowstorm uh, coming in for tomorrow. Uh, turns out it's kind of hit a little bit early. <laughs> so we're trying to find a place to park, but in order to park, uh, Jake is currently out there clearing snow, which is a great sign for skiing, less great for uh, getting out in the morning. It's a full on blizzard. We're gonna park, park, park next to that car. How you doing? Hey. How you doing? Yeah. Good morning. Uh, we got a gorgeous night's sleep last night. We just woke up to first light uh, to get going towards the snowfields. And everyone else who was parked here is gone. So hopefully we get a park. So let's get everything wrapped up and head to the resort. No. Go get him. Go you're on. free. Go. Come on, you're free. Go. Jump! 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 Good girl. Yes? Oh, hello. So, if you've watched our videos, you'll know that a couple months ago we did a, a four night road trip through Scotland. Super fun. We're in a Defender and we had a, uh, like a rooftop tent. A pop top, sorry. And it was really cold and it was only November in Scotland, so it wasn't even that cold. Um, and we're just driving past now. We're seeing people in rooftop tents and it's minus 18 Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's really cold and I'm actually concerned for these people's well being. Wild. I'm sure they've geared out pretty well. I'm sure they've got like an insulation cover that then takes all the condensation off from the inside. And then nice like diesel heater to keep it warm and it just runs all night like they're probably okay yeah how are you finding seeing the road great we've got a lot of yeah. <laughs> super safe oh it's got the same patch yeah mm. we just found out that it is the um icon pass holder early like early up stay um we had no idea. Um, Serendipity is and they just had like a bunch of snow last night. So we're potentially gonna get some like early lift access and the free hot breakfast. <laughs>
so our cameras kind of didn't really make it because it was so cold. It was minus like 15. Um, so I think we got a few little shots. It was so good up there. Easily one of the best seasons, uh, best days of the season so far. Second best day of the season. Second? What's first? Uh, we had a rad day up at um, Utah. Mmm, Brighton. If you want to yeah. check that out, it'll be in the Utah video. I'll yeah, put it you can up check there. that out. Essentially, we've done that. Now we're going to go and do every van lifer's most dreaded task, which is attempt to try and find a dump point because we were silly and got all of our food and everything, but totally forgot to no. get more water. And now we're going to go and dump our tanks. If we can get out of this park. different conditions in this morning, hey? Oh my god, I'm just like, it's so good. <laughs> Turn of events. We're getting water and filling and dumping our tanks. What did we discover when we arrived here? Yeah, we did turn on the defroster of our tanks off. So they're probably frozen. Good, and what do we get to do? Get out of here, here dry and dry. <laughs> we dry the hole. <laughs> now we look. Come on, say again. Thing. Does that mean we? No, mine was fire. Mine no, was fire, was and yours. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ready? Mhm. Mm Ready? Mhm. Mm Boom! Damn it! Why? Jump on of the world. We got a trickle. Woo. Good. We got a trickle. Oh, it's delicious! Oh, getting bigger! Ew! We'll be able to splash here. We'll be Parker about how to caravan. Yeah. <laughs> this is a dump point. <laughs> we are stupid. <laughs> and I didn't turn off the whole cool winterizing system that I built. Um, you pull these valves, that's where your poop comes out. <laughs> This is where your shower water comes out, so if I close that off, it stops, which is good. Oh, that was disgusting. A little bit of poop water. <laughs> Thank you. Ah! Enjoy. Okay. I will say I'm pretty lucky, Jake. <laughs> I think I helped for the first like three times we did dumps. And then I was like, you know what, Jake? How about I cook dinner and you can do that once a week? Seems like a good deal. Hopefully it won't be too much longer and then we're gonna get to camp for the night. Hopefully before dark because Last night I pulled in the dark and it was a bit tricky, so. You excited? Did you want to go for a walk? Yeah, we'll go for a walk soon. So we're officially doing the next fun task, which is collecting wood. Okay, what we do is we very mindfully, ooh, <laughs> we very mindfully go through forests and see if there's any trees that are not to be missed. And we use them. We try not to take too much each time. Um, but yeah, this is what we're doing right now. How's that one? 
Jake is gonna be outside getting the rest of the wood ready and we have a wood storage outside so he'll just get that outside. And I'm going to do the inside routine which is getting us all warm and insulated from in here. So with the fire going, now time to heat up all of our insulation covers. <laughs> Welcome to Mammoth. This is day two. Welcome back to Mammoth, should I say. After the snow, everything's pretty skied out. We've got another bluebird day, which is gorgeous. Temps are dropping. But um, yeah, we're gonna ride some groomers today. Have some fun. on a hot tub. We, first. The first one that we got to because it's the easiest. But first. I'm Much hungry. needed food. 2 p.m. This is the first thing we've eaten today. Oh wow it is too. Other than mochis. Mm -hmm. This is our little campsite view. So we decided to go for a little walk. We wanted to go to a different one anyway because it's supposed to be a lot hotter and this one was kind of like warm just not hot so does have weird things with water temperatures um <coughs> so we thought we'd go for a walk may as well it's only like maybe two miles or so if that so yeah. Come here! Hello! Here you go, you're free. <laughs> Slippery. Bye. 
good is when there's like an actual hot spring vent over there and then it just trickles down in. It smells a little bit like cat. <laughs> oh, 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 did you feel that? This is called the crab pot. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think it's called the crab oh, pot for a reason. You didn't turn it off, did you? No, I did not fully. So we woke up at like, <sighs> when did the alarm go off? Woke up at 5.45. Obviously I don't get up that early. The intention was to go sit under the stars in the tub, watch the sunrise, and we have done that. It's been really beautiful. Um, picture perfect. This tub has a little something to be desired. Though. Nice to be clean. buttery, cream, kind of like... And it's just like straight up Guatemala. Mm -hmm. And what day off the listing is this? Four. Oh, so it should be... That's, like... It should be perfect. Mm. Tastes like a dessert. Yeah, it's delicious. After enjoying coffee at home, we headed into Mammoth Lakes to check out the local bakeries, see what there was in town for cafes, and then we jumped on the road to head down to June Lake. So we just rolled into June Mountain. Um, conditions are looking pretty questionable. Gonna be completely honest, not super keen <laughs> to get up there and check you it out. You were so keen to lie. I'm excited to like check out new things. June is a very small mountain. It's got like no, six chairlifts all up. Four, and two of them are closed. No, There's six chairlifts, including this one. There's six chairlifts, and, and one is one is an access chairlift. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna die. It's like a little two-seater. It looks terrifying. We're gonna go check it out. We're not super stoked to actually ski. Today's probably should be a rest day. Tomorrow's gonna be a restish day, but um, 
We're gonna go up, we're gonna check it out. It's a very small mountain, so it shouldn't take us too long. Also, yeah. mm-hmm. and Basil's really sad. <laughs> Does anybody know what Basil, keep, oh, Basil alive in, What Basil needs? In a van in winter. Yeah. We've done well with other herbs. Look, this is our other herb garden. That's our little herb pot, but our Basil just Ooh. doesn't like life. So anyone can help, that'd be great. The only run to the dock is flat and closed. So we've got one chair left. So we're going back down. So we're gonna rip it. We're gonna rip back down. Rip it. Rip, rip it good. Real good. Like, this way. Yeah, go right and then be left. Did you say it was worth it just for this? Yeah, I mean, look, it's unreal. So we did our normal thing, went and got our patch. We're running out of fiber. Because technically we, um, oh, we got a speed bump. And up, and down. Technically we skied at June. <laughs> um, so we needed a patch. Um, and we got a recommendation on where to eat. So I'm taking Claire to dinner. Ish, <laughs> at like 4 p.m. Okay, say something. <laughs> beautiful spot to park up but alas we were a bit too big for the spot um, but we ended up finding somewhere just around the corner which was awesome but today we have a big driving day ahead of us we are on our way from around June Lake area we're gonna head to um, where are we going? Uh, we're gonna go to Lake Tahoe mm, so we're gonna swap one lake for another yeah so we're leaving June Lake Tahoe Lake and hopefully we're gonna catch this storm that's coming in and hopefully we don't get in the crossfires of the storm on the way up because that wind is looking pretty intense, so. It has not stopped snowing. Um, we came up at like two o'clock and we're coming through like a heavy storm and it's just continued. The winds died down and it's just like a bunch of snow, which is really cool. So I'll show you outside. This is outside right now. I shoveled all this one and it came in. But It's going to be a good day. Oh, 
this morning we are parked up at Palisades but we're actually at the Alpine end because we had a, a fellow van lifer recommend it to us apparently it's a bit, meant to be a bit more low key because we got a lot of snow today <sighs> hopefully this is gonna be the place to be but of course because there was so much snow they are Abbey bombing and little me to my head does not like the Abbey bombing <laughs> okay sensitive soul She's the kind of person, dog thing, being that uh, she will just flat out stop doing things if they scare her. Those slow, small, safe exposures have been our ticket to success with her. Um, and doing a lot of this. <laughs> I just randomly Working. just like looked up and I was like, I oh. should be looking here. And then Jake, I didn't even see it. And then Jake was like, That's a coyote. That was a coyote. <laughs> now my eyes are lot. She's so excited. We're pretty sure she's played with coyotes before. Don't judge us. We <laughs> let her go free sometimes and we're pretty certain. Um, yeah. She gets really excited. Like, really excited. <laughs> anyway, back to work. Sleeps that she 
she's not all cooped up realistically <laughs> but we do really prioritize making sure she gets outside for a walk each day um, especially when it's just miserable and cold and we don't go outside for long periods ourselves <laughs> Tahoe area, definitely check out Coffee Bar, either up on the hill or down here in Truckee. Pretty good. Well worth it. Some good coffee. finished our last day of skiing at Tahoe. It was really rough this morning. We went up and it was not worth it. So we just came into town for a bit of an explore. And yeah, that officially wraps up our California portion of the winter road trip. So from here, we are on our way up to Oregon. We'll go ski at Bachelor, and then we're going up to Crystal and the summit before making our way over through Washington and then to park up for a week in Schweizer in Idaho. All of which we have to do within less than two weeks because we have to cross the border by the end of the month. So if you want to check that out, we'll be skiing some really cool resorts. They're getting a lot of snow at the moment, so hopefully it'll be less early season conditions and a little bit more exploring all of the terrain. Hit that subscribe this. button <laughs> if you like the video, like, and um, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. We were like rear wheel spinning and the front wheels weren't turning and we were pretty certain we were going to need a tow out. It's our rear wheel drift and the front wheels that weren't turning.